All right, this is a video I'm going to show you how to change out this brass nut. Uh, and this would work for uh, Hobart M802 or V1401. So you're going to remove that stainless steel splash guard. You're going to have access to this here. Now, this is your stopping screw that determines how high the mixer bowl lifts so your attachment doesn't make contact with the bottom of the bowl. So we already pre-loosened this stuff ahead of the video here. You're going to loosen this tension nut. Once that's loose, you can unscrew with the top, the head of the bolt there. So we took these out, loosened them, and then in the top of the shaft here, there is a spiral pin. We already pounded that out. You can see the only thing that's holding it in here is my actual punch. Now, when we drop this, you're gonna have a thrust bearing set here. There's two plates and a needle bearing. We need to make sure we don't lose those. If you have someone close by you, they can give you a hand here and there. That's much more helpful. So we're going to lift up on this, take the punch out. And we have a bucket here that's going to end up catching this once we drop this all the way down. Three quarter inch socket. That one's out. Here comes the next one. She's out. Now this is gonna drop all the way down. And now you have access to back this nut all the way off by hand, swap it and put it back together in the exact opposite way. Now again, underneath this plate right here, you have another thrust washer set. You have the needle bearing and you have two plates. There's a plate, needle bearing, plate. Take those out, clean them as you have all this stuff out. Now, one more thing to look out for. On this plate, this large hole for this Acme screw is not drilled directly in the center. You have a thicker wall on this side, see the distance there? And you have a thinner wall on this side. Make sure that that thinner wall goes towards the back of the machine. So the thicker wall here is going to face out towards your bowl. Make sure you do that, otherwise the Acme screw is not going to line up properly and spin nicely through the center of that hole.